Take a look at this crowded camera shot I got for you. A lot of people down at Lake of the Ozarks. The 36th Lake of the Ozarks shootout is taking place this weekend and a lot of people already getting in now because the weather is so great for it. We even got a helicopter right here. That helicopter was flying around at commercial break, just landed and a whole lot of speed boats. Not really my speed. If when I get on the water, I like more of that kayak, you know, kind of that slow, steady float, but they're going to be racing and it's going to be a great weekend for it. Temperatures warmer this weekend than what we've gotten the last couple days, but wasn't bad for today. I don't think it's going to be too bad for tonight. Sitting at 77 at Lake the Ozarks, Springfield a little bit warmer. We're at 80 degrees, so not too much. We managed to get to a high only into the low 80s, but look what's kind of waiting out into the distance. This big blob of peak temperatures, that's 100 degree temperatures over in Texas, and this is going to start to creep closer our way over the next couple days. Now, I don't think we're going to hit 100, but 90s? Yeah, absolutely. This is all because of that summer ridge, and it's been really trapping that heat into the desert southwest. It's been pushing it out of our region, but over the last couple days, it's been inching closer and closer, and it's going to really creep and crawl for Friday, and then you're going to start to feel that heat for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Friday's kind of the transition zone, where it won't be really too hot, but it's not going to be too cool. It's not going to feel as nice as what we've been blessed over the last couple days. And as the heat builds, as that summer ridge starts to build, humidity will be building with it. And you really start to feel that effects of the humidity by Saturday, where we start to get those feels like temperatures getting closer to the, the upper 90s, potentially the 100 degree mark. But it has been quiet. We're really going from a quiet and cool pattern to a quiet and warm pattern over the next couple days. We only have really one chance of rain this weekend. and. It's not looking too good for the majority of people to even see that rainfall. Mostly sunny on Friday. Could get some clouds to start to roll in, in that afternoon to evening hour. Really our one chance of rain that I'm pinpointing for this weekend. I think it's a very low chance and radar isn't even really buying it. Look at the models. We could start to see some showers and even thunderstorms form closer to kind of the I-70 corridor that can impact our northernmost counties. Or this model isn't really biting on it too much, but others seem to be picking up on the chances that really counties off to the north on Saturday morning can get cliff with some rainfall activity, but expecting the majority of people to stay dry for tonight, for Friday, for Saturday. I think the best chance of rain, that's not going to be happening until about a week from now when we get a cold front that's going to remove a lot of the heat that's going to be building over the next couple of days. Tonight will be a cool one. Last night we got to the low of 59. I think tonight really close to that we can get right around those lows and 60s. Tomorrow we're going to start to build back up. I have Springfield forecast just under that 90 degree mark. Not too much humidity, so it will kind of feel like what the thermometer is actually saying outside. Humidity starts to build on Saturday. We'll get into the low 90s, and I think it's going to be even warmer on Sunday. We're going to temperatures closer to those mid 90s, but humidity values aren't going to be too impressive. I think the worst that we get over this really stretch is we start to feel like those upper 90s in Springfield. Some places out west in Joplin could get a little bit closer to feeling temperatures. They're going to be knocking on the door of that 100 degree mark with that feels like forecast and then the heat's going to be sticking around for the start of the work week before we can start to get some improvement. This is what the full seven day forecast is looking like. Warm for Saturday, warm for Sunday, and then it's going to be the same way for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then that cold front arrives on Thursday. That's what erasing the heat and can return the chances of some thunderstorms then, Steve. Okay, Matt.